Welcome to Electron Online. Now, amazingly enough, in polar coordinates, we can also draw straight lines. We, have, we can have equations that represent straight lines. So the first one here is theta equals pi over 4. So we don't see the value for r, which means r has no restrictions. r can be any value. We're just restricted by the angle theta, which is pi over 4, which is a 45 degree angle, which means that 45 degree angle is an angle 45 degrees relative to the positive x-axis like that. So that means that theta equals pi over 4 is simply a line along this direction right here and since r can be any value then this red line right here represents the equation or the graph represents the equation theta equals pi over 4. Same for theta equals pi over 2 again we take a 90 degree angle so we have an angle in reference to the positive x-axis of 90 degrees which is equal to pi divided by 2 and therefore we have a line that goes straight up and down again r has no restriction r can be any value so therefore this is a straight line that represents the equation theta equals pi divided by 2. Now we can also have equations like that r equals 3 times the secant of theta which also represent a straight line now you say wow how can that represent the straight line but you'll see if we change this equation to 3 is equal to or r is equal to 3 times 1 over the cosine of theta because by definition the secant of theta is 1 over the cosine of theta and if we then plug in some values you'll see what we get so for example if we have theta then we have the cosine of theta then we have uh, then we have 1 over the cosine of theta let's get rid of that here and then we have 3 divided by the cosine of theta so let's see what we end up with for some different values if theta is equal to let's say 0 then the cosine of theta of course is 1 1 over that would be 1 and 3 times that would be 3 so our first point would be for an angle of 0 degrees we come over here would be 1, 2, 3 units so we have a dot right there now let's try how about pi divided by 6? So pi divided by 6, which is 30 degrees, the cosine of that is 0.866. That would be 1 over 0.866, and then we multiply times 3. So 3 divided by 0.866, which, let's get a calculator. Let's see here. What is 3 divided by 0.866? We get about 3.46. So that would be equal to 3.46. And then if we plot that, so at an angle of... 30 degrees, that would be an angle this way of 30 degrees, we draw a dotted line here and notice that this distance from there to there, if it's 3.46, would put a dot right about there. Okay, let's try the next point and see what we get. So let's try uh, 45 degrees, so pi divided by 4, which is 45 degrees, which is 1 over, oh, not 1 over, I'm getting ahead of myself, so that would be equal to uh, 0.707 and 1 over 0.707 and then 3 divided by 0.707 now let's see what that is equal to so we have 3 divided by 0.707 and we get 4.24 so at a 45 degree angle we need to go out 0.424 units away from the origin so now we have a 45 degree angle so this was 30 degrees this is 45 degrees so we have a dashed line like this and then if we go out 4.24 units away from origin, we get a dot right about there. And you can see that it's beginning to show like it is a straight line. Let's try one more point and see what we get. So what if we do uh, pi divided by 3, which is 60 degrees? So that would be 0.5. That would be 1 over 0.5, which of course is 2. And 3 divided by 0.5, which is equal to 6. So at an angle of 60 degrees, so now we go at an angle of 60 degrees, that would be kind of like that. And so now we have a straight line that goes like this. And of course I get into my dots right here, but hey, if we put a dot right there, that would be six units away. And notice when we connect all those, that forms a straight line. And then if we use negative angles, we get the same thing on the other side. So you can see that this forms a straight line that is a distance three units away from the vertical axis. And so you can see that you can still get straight lines using trigonometric functions like that offset away from the line either the x-axis or the y-axis so see there's lots of different ways in which you can get straight line equations in polar coordinates and that's how we figure out how to graph them